Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, the G Flash, and welcome back for some more Fade trailer reaction. And I'm only here with one guest, and that's Saki Master One. Hi, hi. So tonight is the mythic or and legendary banner, and I'm pretty sure everyone by now knows who it is because the the book it just ended. So of course it has to be the final boss and another person. So. Uh, let's just jump right, right into it and see uh, what uh, what we have here. Oh, are you hosting? Yeah, I'm Oh, wait, play. Wait, what? New Mythic Heroes. What the? Oh. Oh, yep, there's Coughseer. I was born from a flaw in time. Without it, Kavasser. Okay, I keep getting that name mixed up. Oh my God! What a what a giant paragraph! Oh look, a new kind of uh, alarm skill in a way. I like like that. Wow. Wait, what the? Did she just dance somebody? Yep. Oh, and there's Golvig. I find myself here again in the future. I could not see. Oh, Golvig is an anima mythic. Okay. Oh, she has her perk special. Okay, nice. Sure oh, of course she has flared sparrow. Why wouldn't she do us, right? <laughs> State your wishes. Wow. I love that special. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so they're double mythic. So Kavasser is the dark mythic, and then Kolvik is the anima mythic. Sup? Okay. Okay. Oh, of course. There's only one summon. <laughs> okay. Not so too bad. let's go over the the two units. So first of all, we got Kavasser, and I she's a. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so first off, we know her stats. Uh, so Kavasser is a Red Tome Cavalier unit, and uh, she has 40 HP. Uh, this is a buff, so I'm assuming it's six. So I think it's 58 attack and 47 uh, speed, I think. And then it's 17 defense and 26 res. All right, now let's uh, look at her kid. Uh, I can, okay, there it is. <laughs> Okay, so her weapon is uh, Insipe Kavasser. So minus one special cooldown, SR combat, all stats plus five, infix, inflicts penalty on foe speed and res equal 15% unit speed. Okay, and neutralizes. Okay, no follow, full on no follow up. Breath effect uh, uh, per attack. So the breath effect. And then, okay, let's see what else. Also, if. If it is unit's first combat initiated by unit or first combat initiated by foe that turn, reduce damage on foe's first attack by 70%. Wow, okay. And then, if unit's HP is above 
Uh, after attack, inflict panic on... Okay, so panic smoke, basically. Okay, so all stats plus five, minus one special, 15% uh, uh, USP and dueling the speed res debuff, and then fall no follow up, breath effect, 70% DR, and then panic smoke, basically. So that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she's got her first special, Light is Time. It's a five cooldown special, apparently. So let's see uh, what it does. Boost damage by 60% of foes attack when special triggered. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, neutralizes effect that... Okay, so no guard. If unit initiates combat... Uh, if unit initiates combat, unit special trigger and unit survives grants one of the following two effects after combat once per turn. If there is only one ally with the highest HP among allies within two spaces of unit who have already acted, grants another action to that ally. Uh, allies with seeing dance can be granted. Also, if that allies or pair of their pair of cohort range is equal to inflict restrict movement to a one space to that ally or that pair of gay through the next action. Otherwise, grants times gay. Times gay allies within four spaces of unit can move to a space adjacent to unit. What? What? Okay, wow, that was a mouthful to read. Okay, so first of all, you get 60% of foes attack when you uh, trigger the special. You get null guard. Uh, and then you get two different um, conditions. So basically, Kavasser could actually dance the highest HP ally that has already acted. So basically, if she's like near that ally with the highest HP or whatnot, um, or that's one of the two spaces of her, then Kavasser basically become Brave Marianne with that Requiem dance and grants that ally a dance pretty much now of course it says if that ally is a range unit then it has the gravity effect pretty much so but other than that um it grants that four space uh aerobatics or the teleportation aerobatics ability so yeah that's kind of uh <laughs> that's a really versatile movement right there Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty bonkers. So, uh, that's uh, so that's mm. light is time. Pretty banana special, and then she's got attack speed catch for uh, low speed rest for. So we finally got this right here, and then incite attack is speed. Okay, what is this? At start of turn, if number of allies adjacent to unit is less than or equal to two. Grants attack speed plus six and incited to a unit for one turn. And then if number of allies adjacent to the unit, you can clear it less than you go to one, grants attack speed. Okay, so it's basically the alarm skill, except this works differently. Inside it, what does this do? If unit initiates combat, grants bonus to units all stats equal number of spaces from start position to end position of unit during combat. Oh, so it's a clash effect. Okay. All right. So, okay. Yeah, so instead of the Canto 1, uh, this gives you bonus uh, stats to all your stats based on the Clash effect. That's uh, that's pretty interesting, I gotta say. Yeah, so uh, this... Uh, you that, this um, So this special could actually... Not special, this skill could actually give to... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is also um, Cavalier uh, Cavalier locked or something. So you can get this to Cavaliers that has like Canto built into their weapon already so that they can like uh, use the clash effect from the inside of status very well. So that's interesting. That's very good. So that's a uh, Colossal for you. Uh, very strong nuke, I will say, though. Hey, can you pause it? Okay, thank you. Okay, All right. Uh, uh, whoops, we're back on the beginning. Okay, so that's a Kavasser for you. Uh, very strong, strong unit for sure. All right, so we got, of course, everybody's uh, most wanted person, Golvig. Now we know what Golvig is. She's a, uh, a colorless tone cavalier, and uh, she's a. Uh, 
Anima Mythic. And we haven't had a Anima Mythic in like a while now. So uh, we know her stats is 37 HP, 59 attack, 47 speed, 27 defense, and 18 res. All right, now let's take a look at her kit. I do you want to know if I'm here? Both Kavathir and Golby and Golbeg have the same speed. Oh, yeah, they have the same speed. Well, that makes sense because one's from the past and one's in the present and the future. So. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, so when you compare the defensive res, both of them are kind of switched between the two of them. Yeah, both of them are switched. Okay, so uh, Golvik has got quiet as Golvik, so I'm pretty sure this is the weapon from the story mode or something. So uh, minus one double check that. Uh, it's okay. I'll just read it. Uh, minus one special cooldown. If unit in HP's combat or foes HP is seventy five percent, grass. Also has plus five. Grants bonus to units attack and speed equal uh fifteen percent unit speed at the combat and uh full no follow-up. Uh if unit initiates combat, reduce the damage from foes first set by 70% and heal seven HP to unit after combat. Uh then if unit initiates combat grants another action to unit after combat and inflicts uh on unit. Okay, so it's basically the uh, like that brave Golvik effect, basically. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the, her, the Golvik weapon it's kind of similar to a Colosser. Like both of them have all stats plus five. Both have uh, no follow up. But both have that seventy percent DR, except for Golvik is only the first attack, whereas Colosser I think is both faces, uh, and then. Let's see what else. Oh, and they both have the 15% unit speed, except Kavasser is inflicting speed res debuff while Golvig is granting bonus to her attack and speed. So I find that uh, opposite kind of funny. And also <laughs> Golvig heals herself and it has the, you know, that neuron zeal effect basically. Uh, so and then uh, Golvig has time is light. Wait, hold on. What was Kavasser's um, special called? Light is time. is time. Oh my god. So, a Golvik special is just time and life sw switched places in the in the sentence. That's really funny. Okay, so time is light. Boost damage by 45% of unit speed when special triggers. Uh, nullify guard. Of course she has that. If unit initiates combat, after combat, if unit start trigger and unit survive, grants another action to unit. Um, wait, 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 what? It does that thing as well? But I thought her weapon already does that. Uh, does it, wait. What the, hold on a minute. Let me, let me reread this. So if unit initiates go after combat, if unit special triggered, and unit survives oh okay okay so basically um the first part of that brave golvik effect in her weapon triggers when um if golvik doesn't proc her special when she procs her special though after the combat then she does that whole thing again so basically golvik can do the same thing twice if you think about it so wow okay yeah, uh, and so then, okay, this effect has priority over over similar effects uh, in such cases. No similar are tree as not having trigger. Yeah, see, it says it right there. Wow, okay, that's actually, uh, that's kind of bananas. So <laughs> that's time is life for you. Then she's got flare spare. Of course she does, because this is Golvik we're talking about. And then occultist strike, okay. This is a new B skill. If unit initiates combat, deal seven damage to foe as combat begins. What? This is the f what? This is the first flare sparrow effect. <laughs> okay. And then inflict inflict speed res minus four on foe during combat and deals damage equal twenty percent of foe's res. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so. You get the seven chip damage right off the bat at the at the beginning of the combat. And then you inflict speed and res minus four, and then you 
uh, you know, cut the foes res uh, by 20%. So, wow. That, that is going to be hurting a lot. So th this is basically um, Legendary Celica's, uh, her, her toll, her weapon basically cuts foes res like a knife cut through butter, I think. So it's basically that became a skill now. So that's that's nuts. And then we have Defense versus Smoke 3, which makes sense because this is Golvik and you got to do debuffs and Grand Pathfinder for the other people to go through her. So, wow, the normal Gol Golvik is actually pretty nuts, I will say. With all that uh, Gale Forcing shenanigans that she's going to be doing with her weapon and her special. So, holy cow, I, uh, I'm blown away by this. <laughs> and then I think we do see a little bit of the, uh, like her doing the stuff in the action right here. Um, I'm going to see it. Yeah, let's play yeah. that again. So she first kills this blue flyer. Uh, she has her special ready, but look, she moves again, right? Now she's going to trigger her special and kill this Lance Knight. Uh, so she's going to trigger time is light. And then instead of ending her action, she grants another movement again. Yeah, you see how it works now? Yeah, that's how it works. Okay, so and then uh, we have the other units on the banner, which I'll skip to at the end right here. Um, Where is it at? Okay, right here. There we go. Yeah, All right, there we go. Okay, so this is the banner. So red, we got uh, legendary Yuri, fallen female Violet, and Kavasser. It's very strong red pool. Legendary Yuri is still very good uh, with his movement and stuff. And then fallen female Violet, I don't even need to, you know, do any introduction to her. She's got, she's a god tier fodder and a really good god sword too. And the Kavasser we already talked about. Uh, Blue has. Legendary Sita, who is a little outdated at this point, but she can still function as the vantage unit that she's built to be. And then we got Nerfuz and um Oh my god, what's this what's this girl's name? Um Why why is she blinking on me? Uh I use her all the time and I don't even remember her name. Uh which one? The that that other uh, uh that beast unit that's not they're not their foods, but this one that we had in the tempest trial with the fairies who has Hang arcane on. nihility. Hang um, on, what's her name? <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Oh, ate her. That's her name. Yeah, ate her. Yep, that's her name, Aether. Oh my god, I can't believe I blinked on it. Okay, go back to um that that, that timestamp right here. Go back to here. All right, pause. All right, there we go. So we have Aether, Sita, and Nerfuz. Nerfuz is still a great Gale Forcer, and then Aether is just Arcane Ability and that beast, whatever that skill fodder is. And then uh, Sita, she has Distant Storm, but I don't really think you want to fodder that. You just might as well merge your Sita's up and um, something like that. And then green, we got um, Hater, uh, Sather, and Legendary Male Robin. That's another good pool. I mean, Legendary Male Robin is still one of the best support units in the game. And then Sather can still do stuff with her stuff. And the hater is obviously with a rally bot, a very good one, that is. And then colorless, we have uh, Golvig, we got Formortis, and legendary Guinevere. Now, Formortis, 
one of the best far savers in the game. I mean, he's just bananas. <laughs> he just shuts down all of your units action with his nightmares. It's pretty nuts. And then Guinevere, while not the most strongest or not the most insane unit, she's still good with her null counter tanking and mage killing. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the banner. Uh, double Mythics, of course. Golvik and Kavasar. So I gotta say, this is a really stacked banner. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, Cena might be a little bit of a low point, but uh, even so, like every other unit, uh, even her, in a way, is still very, very strong. So I would say absolutely go for this banner and get that Golvik and have her just... Uh, do a lot of just nasty stuff like tearing up summer duels, aether raids, whatever. Yep, pretty much. And then Colosser can just new girly heart, just like legendary Veronica is. Uh, so yeah, absolutely summon on this. And if you're out of orbs, we have the Black Friday packs available right now that you could absolutely buy. Uh, and then, yeah, that's basically our impression for this banner. So, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think of Golvek and Colosser. Are you going to summon on this banner? And also, if you do, like, share, and subscribe uh, if you want to see me do more of those videos. And then, with that being said, I will see you all in my next one. Thanks so much for watching, and it's your boy, the G-Flash, signing out. Mm -hmm.